some details on a new study that's been looking at how species may adapt to climate change. Here's the BBC's Helen Briggs looked at a large range of animals and plants across the world and they looked back in time at how these species have coped with slow changes in temperature, slow changes in rainfall over, over the course of a very, very long time period. Um, so generally, species stay in their habitats, it's very slow to change. So it could take you know, a million years for them to adjust to a change in temperature. As so they looked at that and then they looked at, obviously, what's predicted to happen in climate change and they tried to work out how many plants, how many animals could adapt. And, and the main very, very simple message is really that a lot of animals, a lot of plants are going to be vastly outpaced by climate change. Um, so unless they can move, we know that some can move, fish, for example, already changing their ranges, insects are changing where they are geographically, they're biting us in places they um, didn't used to geographically. So some can move, but others will really, really struggle. So if you're an animal living on an island, living on the top of a mountain in a nature reserve where you've got very little habitat anywhere, you're going to find it very, very hard to shift. And I appreciate this has been done on a grand scale, but were they also looking at which species or which animals or plants may be struggling in the last 10, 15, 20 years as our temperature has changed? There's some broad messages. So some areas are particularly vulnerable, like the tropics, so species there are less likely to be able to adapt, and that's bad news because a lot of precious plants, a lot of precious animals live in the tropics. Also, they looked at broad groups of things. They looked across at mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians. They found that things like reptiles and amphibians tend to be the ones that are quite vulnerable. Amphibians, of course, already been struck by things like fungal diseases. Mm -hmm. They're going to find it really tough. Um, others, maybe mammals and birds, might find it a bit easier, and they think that's because they can regulate their own body temperature. That's one theory, so they might be able to adjust a bit better to a changing world. Helen finishes this half of Outside Source. I'll see you in a couple of minutes.